Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and I'm going to explain today how to use the ngrams tool that's part of the clusters tool of Ankong. So just to get started, let me load in a corpus. And this is a corpus of 12 texts from a textbook uh, for English communication. So I'll open those in. And normally the clusters tool is selected here and we can search for any words or phrases and they will appear like this. But with the ngrams tool selected, which is the button on the right here, you'll notice that we cannot search anything anymore. And what it does is automatically search for uh, groups of words of size n, where n can be 1, 2, 3, and so on. So at the moment, we've set the n-gram size to 2, so it's going to search for two word chunks all the way through the uh, uh, corpus. Uh, so if I just start that, you will see now that every two word cluster or chunk is now recorded. Now you may not see the value of this immediately, but if we increase the size of the n-gram, uh, then we start seeing some interesting patterns. For example, at size 4, we now find that one of the uh, n-grams is Consumer Product Safety Commission, which is one of the key words or key phrases in this corpus of texts. And we see things like a four-year college, uh, growing number of Americans, and so on. Now, as with the uh, clusters tool, we can sort by frequency, transition probability between the first and second word, sort by word, sort by word end, and so on. So, for example, if I sort by word and, and sort, then we see all the at first, and then the b's and c's, and right down to the y's there. Okay, you'll see, you'll notice that the small a's and capital A's are all in there together. Uh, however, if I go to uh, Tool Preferences and select the uh, Clusters tool and treat Case in Sort as one of the options and apply that, when we sort again, you'll see now that all the a's, capital A's, appear at the top and all the uh, small letters appear later. So this is one way to sort the data. And of course we can also sort it by the word end and the other options which are the same as in the uh, clusters tool. Now one thing that a lot of people do with n-grams is they want to treat all words as being lower case. And we can do that here. Treat all data as lower case. I'll remove this case in sort option here. And when we apply that, what will happen now is that everything will be assumed to be lowercase. So we can now create a new n-gram list, and you can see now that everything is lowercase, and we get some good frequency values here. And we can find now the most frequent n-gram in the uh, data is in the US. So that's the n-grams tool. Thank you.